everybody, this is an update and a slight apology for the last video where I installed this ESC and this motor into my WL Toys 12428, the cover of which is right here and the car is down here. It all went swimmingly well until we tested it out and then there was so much cogging, so much where you just put a little bit of throttle in the, the motor would dig 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 and it wouldn't get that slow movement that I was after and wherever I looked on the net the answer to cogging wasn't really successful and uh, when I posted on the WL Toys group in Facebook about this and this I was, it was just a question about how to get the lights working again once we did the brushless upgrade I got this response And it turns out that it was very correct. This ESC is no good. This motor, probably fine. I'm putting them away for some other project, some other time. I don't want these anymore. So I put that down to a learning curve and I installed the Surpass Hobby supersonic fixed timing censored motor and the 120 amp rocket RC surpass hobby ESC. There's the ESC there, there's the the motor there, all installed. The installation is exactly the same except the difference is you've got this little sensor wire that goes between the ESC and the motor and if you look up what causes the cogging, it's because the ESC doesn't know where the motor rotor is in, the, uh, in, in its rotation. This sensor tells it exactly where it is. So as we start the, the car going, you can get some very slow movement to start with and then speed up and, and get some power after that. Now, there was one thing, uh, oh, I still use the same receiver that came with it and the same replacement servo and I've got the same cheap Chinese transmitter so all of that works a treat except for for some reason the motor turning clockwise or anti-clockwise well I don't know which which way it was going but it ended up that the the car was going fast in reverse and just slowly forwards. In other words, it's like it had its forward and reverse swapped over. I tried the reverse and normal on the transmitter, this little switch here, but all that did was change the direction of the trigger. It didn't change the fact that it was always faster in reverse and um, slower in forward, as if the whole ESC needed reprogramming. Well, the ESC doesn't have a reverse function, and with a sensor motor, you can't swap the wires over because it throws the timing out. And this is a fixed timing motor, so I can't change that. So after thinking for a while, I realized what I needed to do was to disassemble the rear diff, disassemble the front diff, and swap the gear over so that when the motor turned one way, now the wheels were turning the opposite. And that was easy enough to do. There's a little tiny plastic tab in there that's obviously designed for uh, locating the diff the right way the first time. I had to grind that off with my Dremel. There was one in the front diff, one in the rear diff. And now, this is all ready, ready to give it a test run. There's one more little issue that it has, and let me show you. I'll, I'll turn on the transmitter, and I'll turn on the ESC. Fan's pretty loud, but normal. But did you notice I had to press the power button in here? So once I've got all this back on, I'm just not sure how I'm going to reach the power button. I think it might be a matter of putting a little hole in the side so I can reach my finger up in there and press it. That's the best idea I've had so far. But anyway, here's a demo. A little bit of trigger. A little bit of movement. Just did not do that with the other one. The other one was cogging all the way. And now a little bit of reverse.
little bit of reverse. There we go. And it goes. So I'm going to take this out now. I'm going to try and put the top on. Give it a bit of a run. I expect they have heaps of power and some good rock crawling torque as well. Let's give it a go. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a significant upgrade. It did the rock crawling part, but it's got a good top end speed as well. So uh, I'm happy with all that upgrade, even though I wasted the money on the other ESC and motor. Maybe it'll come in handy from some other project sometime. But in the meanwhile, catch you later. <laughs>